you. Because in the midst of all the great fun that we have in the political world, the real world is the world that you'll create if you're a young woman with your husband and with the children that you will perhaps be privileged to bear. It is the greatest profession in the world. And as Phyllis said, the feminists can't do enough to tell us, and it's, it's the entire left can't do enough to tell us that that is a diminished job. I was a tax lawyer. I, I had a doctorate degree and a postdoctorate degree in tax law. I spent all of my career working in the U.S. federal tax court. But when we had all these kids, I stayed home full time. And when I was home full time and devoted to mothering, I saw what the curriculum was that they brought home. And I realized these kids wouldn't have the future that they deserve. And our businesses wouldn't have the employees they need if we have um, kids that are undereducated. Phyllis Schlafly said that if the ERA passed, it would lead to same-sex marriage, that it would lead to uh, unisex restrooms, it would lead to women serving in combat, it would lead to the breakdown of the family. I thought, well, those are just scare tactics. Well, guess what? It finally occurred to me, Phyllis Schlafly is right. Every single thing, every single thing that Phyllis said has come true even without the enactment of the Equal Rights Amendment because the feminists and the left never stop. You know, there's been this discussion about Go Proud and whether or not we should have Go Proud as a participating organization at CPAC. And one of the things that Phyllis said was really, I've really been thinking about this, um, and she's so right about it, is that when you, when you take away the commitment that we have as conservatives and as a country, as a society, to traditional marriage, marriage defined as being between one man and one woman, when you take that away, it opens the door to not just the breakdown of the family, the elimination of the family, but polygamy and uh, forced arranged marriages, child marriages, things, you know, the whole multicultural issues that come about because, well, we can't just say that this is what we think is right for society because somebody might be offended by that. But she's absolutely right about that. It has so many far-reaching implications. So particularly young women need to understand that you, you can't have it all at the same time. One young woman stood up and asked me this. She said, uh, well, but you know, I want to work and you know, I, have, I, I want to have all these, you know, big important jobs, blah, 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 I mean, but I want to be married and have children, blah, 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 blah. And she said, can't you just hire a nanny? <laughs> and I looked at her and I said, can't you just get a dog? 